I thought I could show you my progress. So um, I've done almost all the cutting now for this, this job. So just to remind you, that is what I'm building, what I'm making, which is a St. Joan of Arc's sword with lilies around it with a sort of gentle flame colours in the background. Um, this has taken me quite a long time to cut and it's been quite stressful because I made all the um, coloured glass in the background um, using powdered frit. Um, if ever any broke while I was uh, making, I had to remake the glass and trying to get it to match in has been um, challenging. It, it is doable, I can't, you know, it's possible, but it meant I was quite tense the whole time I was cutting. So I love this hilt, the hilt of the sword. Um, I have done that in a glass that's got a, a natural marking, which enhances the um, shape of the sword. I was going to paint it to give it um, interest, but when I saw this glass, I just thought, wow, that's so nice. So, um, yeah, beautiful glass. Um, the top section over here, I have to I have to make a piece of glass for this, um, and I have run out of powder. So once that comes, I'll do that. Um, what I'm going to do today um, is paint the leaves. So I'm going to just experiment and see what sort of finish works, um, and then work my way through all the leaves. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, because there's a lot of them, and I need to not get them mixed up. Um, but that's what you can watch me doing today. When I cut this top window, my glass wasn't big enough to take in this top peak, so I've been left with um, a gap, which I'm going to now um, put the powders on and try and make blend in with the sides. So this piece will be cut, and then I'll have this piece from which to get this area. This piece I'm going to have to add some more colour to because it's, um, it's not matching in very well. Um, I've remade this because the original piece broke while I was cutting it um, and it's quite difficult to, to get a colour match. So it's come out rather pale and I have to do it darker. So it's going to go back in. I've got um, a photograph of the piece that broke as my... Um, as my visual aid. So I'm going to go ahead and add more powdered frit and put it back in the kiln and hopefully I'll get a better match this time. Here you can see um, the pieces at the peak that I refired and um, I'm hoping you can see that they, they blend in really nicely. So I'm really pleased with that. And um, all my cutting is finished, all my painting is finished and I can now start ready. 